Hello friends, this video on relations and functions part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered. We will cover functions and relations. In this, first we will give an overview of relation and function. Then we will discuss type of relation and function. We will define composition of functions. We will define new type of functions called invertible functions. We will tell you what binary operations we can perform on functions. Before we start on relation, let's understand what relation is. Mathematically, relation has a different meaning altogether. So before we try to understand the mathematical meaning of relation, let's try to understand what relation in our daily life. So the question is, what is relation? Because the whole chapter is about relation and functions. So the main focus is to first understand what is relation. Relation is nothing but a connection between two or among things. That means I have a connection between two things or I have let's suppose three things and I connect these three things. This is called relation. Example object A and object B has a relation. Here object A, B and C has a relation. I'll explain more with some real life examples. For example, if you see father, mother and child is a relation. If you see this picture, this guy is father, this guy is, this lady is mother and this is a sweet child. There is a relation between these three. Father and mother has a relation. Father, mother and child has a relation. Correct. So there is a relation between these three objects. This cute baby is daughter of this guy. This lady is mother of this kid. So there is a relation between these three. Similarly, if you want to see a relation among two objects. So if you see this, uh, this is husband and this is wife. So there is a relationship between husband and wife. Correct. So this guy is husband for this uh, lady and this lady is wife for this lady. So there is a relationship established between two identities. So relationship is nothing but connection between or among things. Between means when you are saying uh, between two objects. So I will say relationship between two objects. When I am talking about more than two then I say among. For example if I have uh, let's suppose 10 objects. And there is a relation established between all these 10 objects. Then I will say the relation among 10 objects. Correct? There can be a relation among 10 objects because if you have a big family where you have grandfather, grandmother, oh, father, mother, son, daughter, there are so many people. Then it's a big relation, a relation between five people. If you're talking about a big company, for example, if you're talking about, let's suppose Microsoft, there are one lakh people working for the Microsoft. So there is a relationship between one lakh people. All are working for Microsoft. There is a relationship. Correct? So relationship is nothing but connection between or among things. Please note, every relation has a pattern or property. For example, in this case, when I say the pattern was that there was a relation. It is a father, mother, child relation, husband, wife relation. Or when I told that all the employees of, uh, employees of Microsoft, then there is a, there's a pattern that all the employees I am considering are employees of Microsoft or you say uh, students of class 10 of let's suppose school of ABC public school. So if you see ABC school, so if there is a school called ABC school and there are some 40 students of class 10, all these 40 students will have a relation because they are all part of class 10. Correct? Also, relation involves minimum two identity. It can be more than two, but minimum is two because with single identity, you can't establish a relation. To establish a relation, you need minimum two identity. Now, having understood the relation in real life, let's try to understand relation in mathematical world. We'll give some examples. If I say number P is greater than number, so there is a relation established here. If I take any set, any number P and Q, let's suppose if I take 
P as phi, I can take Q as 3. So there is a relationship between P and Q that is P is greater than Q. Correct? So if I say phi comma 3, it is a relationship. I say P comma Q is nothing but phi comma 3. It is a relationship between P and Q where P is greater than Q. If I say line M is perpendicular to line N, let's suppose. This is also a relationship because let's suppose there's the line M here and this is the line N here. There is a relationship between these two lines. That is, line M is perpendicular to line N. A is a subset of set B. So let's suppose if I have a bigger set B, in this set I have a smaller set A. So here also if you see there is a relationship between set A and set B. That is, A is the subset of bigger set B in terms of sets. If I say that in a right triangle, if in a right triangle, if this is perpendicular, this is base and this is high, then P square plus B square is going to S square, S square Pythagoras theorem. It is also a relationship. It is the relationship between three sides, P, B and H for any right triangle. So this is also one example of relationship in the mathematical. So with this, I think you have a fair understanding of what is relation. Relation is nothing but relation between two or more than two objects. It should have a pattern and it should have two or more than two objects. For example, when I say number P is greater than Q, so I can take any P and any Q. And if it follows P is greater than Q, it's a relationship. A relationship between any two line, line M and M. Line M is perpendicular to line N. This is a relationship. Set A is subset of bigger set B is a relationship. And for in a right triangle, P square plus B square is going to S square is also a relationship between three sides P, B, and H. Now, having understood the concept of relationships, relations in real and mathematical world, let's try to understand the concept of functions. So, what is function? Function is nothing but set of action or activity. So the moment you see function, you should see light camera action. That's all. Like very hard. For example, let's take will this guy be a function? This guy is a police. What is his duty? So if you see this guy is a police, if he meet thief, what he'll do? He'll catch the guy. Or he'll stop it there. But if this guy meet a decent person, decent uh, person or decent citizen, I'll say, what does this guy say? nothing he won't catch so here also if you see this guy is a police and this guy is a thief now when police has seen this guy he'll ask him to stop when police sees a decent man this guy is a decent citizen he'll do nothing he'll just let him go so what police is doing here police is nothing but a function where it is performing set of action or activity based on input. Correct. So here I can say that you can assume this as a box or a function which will perform activity here I'll say activity based on input. For example, if I give input as thief, thief, it will catch. When I give uh, input as decent guy, decent guy, what it will do is nothing. Correct? So if you see, police is nothing but a function that performs activity, it cash or do nothing based on the input. If the input is thief, the police will cash. If the input is a decent guy, it will do nothing. Correct? So function is nothing but a box where you give input and you get output. So this is nothing but a teacher. Teacher is a function. Or let's suppose your parent, your parent, your dad, uh, your parent is a function. So if you get good grades, if you get good grades, what you will get from your parents? You will get chocolates. If you get bad grades in maths, what you will get? You will get scolding. Correct? 
or maybe cut in pocket money or any kind of punishment anything depending on how your parent is so if you see here parent is nothing but a function that is performing some activity it is sometime giving you chocolate sometime giving a scolding so scolding and chocolates giving chocolates are nothing but activity and that is based on your input if you're getting good grades you're getting chocolates if you're getting bad grades you're getting scolding so this is what function is in real life when you say function that is like camera action that is there's a person that has to or there is an identity that has to perform some action function means action correct so let's see I'll repeat function means action and relation mean connection correct so when I'm talking about function I'm saying action when I'm talking about relation I'm talking about connection between two objects two or more objects now let's understand function in mathematical world For example this function fx is going to x squared so what will you do? So for example, this is a function called x squared. So here it will get the input and here it will get the output. So if you give input as 1, it will say 1 into 1, that is 1. If you give input as 2, the output will be 2 into 2, that is 4. This is 1, sorry. If you give output as 3, this function will square this. This will become 3 into 3, that is Nine. Similarly, if you give let's suppose five as input, you'll get five into five as twenty-five as the output. So what we see here, the function, if you say f x is equal to x square, this is a function that squares any given number. So this is a function similar to pulis, right? If you give bad guy to cash, good guy to nothing, or your parents. So if you get good grade chocolates, bad grade, you get scolding. Same thing here, right? So you give x, you get x square. You give 1, you get 1 square. You get 2, you got 2 square. You, got, you give 3, you got 3 square. You give 5, you got 5 square. So math, in mathematics function is in this form. Before going ahead with the relation and functions, let's understand or recap it what we already know or what we have learned in our previous classes in class 11th I think if you have not aware of all this thing which I mentioned in this slide please go and watch class 11 videos so I assume that you already know what is Cartesian product what is functions in term of relations what is real and real valid function what are, what are algebra of function a relation to represent by roster form, set builder form, and aerodiagram, and range and photo. All these things you must know. So if you don't know, please watch exam for your class 11 maths. So once you're done with this and when you know what is Cartesian product function in terms of relation graphs, algebra function, and linear domain, we will we'll proceed to the next slides and this slides has what all topics we will actually thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again